we're going to have some fun with our own humanly body polarity. Not only am I going to talk about why the polarity of headphones and the polarity of in-ears are important when a person is listening to themselves sing through the headphones or in-ears, but also I came up with a way to demonstrate it so that you can hear it on the video and listen to the impact of what happens when your monitoring system is out of polarity and you're listening to your own voice. So a little background on it. Polarity, universal polarity, whether something's in polarity or out, doesn't make a lot of difference in the big scheme of things unless you're summing that signal with another version of itself. We can actually show that. So what I'm going to do here is I've got a microphone plugged into a Y cable. This Y cable I've modified such that the blue wire is in polarity and the red wire I've reversed pin two and three and it's out of polarity. So I'm gonna put some headphones on so I can hear what you're hearing. So if I talk into this mic, this will be the in polarity signal. Hey, 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 two, 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 and I'll bring that up in the video for you. One, two, so you can hear my voice in polarity. Now I'm gonna bring that down and bring up the out of polarity and you should be able to see me here. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Now, they should sound exactly the same. One, two, in polarity. One, two, out of polarity. With a microphone in or out of polarity, my voice in or out of polarity doesn't make a difference. Now, what I did is I set this up such that I've calibrated these two channels. So if I bring up the in polarity signal, hey, 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 and now I bring up the out of polarity signal, as I bring that signal up, they are canceling each other out. And this is why when you have two versions of the same signal, an in polarity and out of polarity, if they're identical and resummed electronically, you, get, you can get almost, if not, 100% cancellation back to silence. But electronic summing of in polarity and out of polarity signals is not the only way it can happen. It can happen acoustically. You can, I've did a video before where you have a kick drum. You have the acoustic sound of the kick drum, and then you have your kick drum monitor, your drum monitor, and if it is in polarity with the kick drum and everything's good, you get a summation. You get the acoustic sound of the kick drum and the monitor sound of the kick drum, and the, if the drummer's halfway in between, which would be ideal, um, they sum and you get a good solid kick. So there is a, a, an acoustic, two different acoustic summations. The polarity of our voice, it comes out and it goes into the, whatever circuitry that shows up in our headphones or our in-ears. Or if we're not wearing headphones and we're just talking, then the polarity of our voice, or the, our voice shows up in its in polarity signal right to our ears with about a three inch um, delay or you know travels about three or four inches to get there but if we plug our ears and we continue to talk we can also hear that we have sound coming in through our body that doesn't come into our ears we, our natural resonance our bone structure and skin bring some of the resonance of that to us um, and it's audible so our perception of our own voice is a combination of our internal resonance that we hear internally and the external voice leaving our mouths and coming back into our ears. So when we have the same signal or the same source arriving at its destination or the listener from two different paths, polarity, time, and distance, and phase, all become relevant issues, as I discussed in another video. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this adapter and I'm going to plug it into a switcher. So this is an AB switcher, ABC switcher from Sound Tools, and it allowed me to select between the two in and out of polarity into a single channel. So now I'll be able to really kind of AB them quickly. I'm gonna turn down the channel we're not using. This is the in polarity uh, version of my vocal and in polarity and out of polarity, out of polarity, in polarity. Now for you, we've already done a cancellation here. They should sound exactly the same if my voice is uh, not changing when I'm doing it. 
So I'm not able to really, with this method, I can hear the difference of the in, polarity, and out. One of them sounds kind of fuller and has a lot of uh, low mid and mid range to it and then top and bottom. And the other one just kind of has more sibilance and more low end and has a hollowed out mid range. And it sounds uh, more stereo-ish. Um, and it sounds like it's coming from here instead of here. Uh, that's the out of polarity one. It's canceling out anything that I'm hearing, the sound that I hear when I plug my ears. But I want you to be able to hear this. So what I've got is a, this is a seducer and it's a capacitive contact mic that you would stick onto a piano or a acoustic guitar and it picks up the vibration and changes that to sound. And you can hear this thing. See if I, very sensitive to touch and emotion. And I'm gonna take that and stick it to my neck. Okay, right there. I'm trying to stick it to my shirt. And it's not gonna be that great. Take this off because I'm using very sticky tape. All right, it's not meant to be on skin. Um, any little bits of stickiness, unsticking, and whatever will make crackles. So you're gonna have to get past that. And now you're hearing my body, and it's not too different than the sound I hear when I plug my ears. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so there's the resonance. Now let's see what happens when we combine the body resonance with the mic. So here we'll turn up the in-ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Two, 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 two. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, and we're getting our in-ears there. And let's bring up the body resonance. Hey, hey, hey. One, two, one, two. Hey, hey, hey. One, two. Now this is the in polarity. Uh, ha, ha. Two, two, two. Hey, hey, hey. And that's just the mic. Hey, hey, hey. And I'll bring up the body resonance to about there. Hey, hey, hey. And we've got a... A resonance and mic. Now let's see what happens when I flip the polarity of the microphone. Hey, hey, hey. And this is in polarity and out of polarity. Hey, hey, hey. One, two, two, two. Hey, hey, hey. One, two. Out of polarity, out of polarity, in polarity, in polarity, out of polarity, out of polarity, in polarity, in polarity. All right. So you should be able to hear it. I can definitely hear the difference. For me, it's a little bit different experience than you're going to have because I have the body resonance of the my actual body and the resonance I'm hearing from my body through the mixing board and then the microphone. So I've got three sources where you only have two. And we'll go back to hey, 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 one, two, two, two. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Hey, 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 one, two, one, two. Don't know if anybody's ever done that before, but that should give you an indication of the importance of um, getting in ears in polarity with the natural body resonance. This only works with you and your own voice, your body resonance versus this electronic version of your voice being summed together in your ears. If someone else is singing, they don't have a representation of their body resonance. So you don't need to worry about it. You could send someone out of polarity, in polarity all over the stage. But when you're sending some vocal to their own person that's singing, having it in polarity with their natural voice, having it in true polarity, is going to have that difference that you've heard. Uh, with extremely high stage levels, it could be argued that it's not that big of a deal. I disagree. The In order to overcome the polarity differential, you have to turn it up a little louder and you have to EQ. You have to put more energy into the headphones and the in-ears if it's out of polarity than you do if it's in and summing. You're gonna get more ear fatigue and subject people to higher volumes if your in-ears are not in polarity with their natural body resonance. I'm gonna do another one involving latency. What happens when you use an analog console like we are, and what we've heard is all analog, zero time delay, no zero latency. What happens if we have a digital console with a millisecond and a half or two and a half or four milliseconds of latency, and how does that affect the summation of the in-ears with the natural body resonance and are we even able to sum them great hope you find this interesting and uh, i'll have more soon